ABC7 was also able to speak to a woman being treated at University Medical Center after being shot. Maribel Latin wanted to share her encounter with the shooter. Stephanie Valle spoke to Latin and joined us live to continue our complete coverage. Stephanie. Estela Maribel Latin said that she and her 10-year-old daughter, Maylene, were taking part in a fundraiser for a youth soccer team, the El Paso Fusion. They were selling aguas frescas outside both entrances of the Walmart. Latin says she heard what sounded like firecrackers and quickly realized they were gunshots. So I just yelled, they're shooting, throw yourself on the floor. We all threw ourselves on the floor. We had nowhere to run. There was nowhere, no way we could have ran out of there. I hid behind the SUV that was there, <clears throat> behind the tire, and I looked to the front. This guy was two cars away from us, just shooting at us. And I saw him reload his gun and walk towards us again. And he just cold-bloodedly came straight at us and shot us. He shot eight rounds. I had to pretend I was dead. And he was right next to me. And he shot eight more rounds. And all I could say is, God, please take care of my children. And please don't let them do anything to my daughter or any of the girls in our team. I just got up and I said, I saw the coaches. I saw everybody on the floor, blood everywhere. And I said, I need to find my daughter and the girls. That's my mission. I looked and they were on the side of the road between Walmart and Sam's. We hid between a couple of cars, sat on the floor. The girls were crying. They were asking about their dads. They were asking about their moms. I knew where their dads were, but I couldn't tell them. And I just told them, let's just be quiet. Don't say anything. This guy's still out here. We don't want him to hear us. I felt him right next to him. He was right next to him, me. I, he wasn't breathing hard. He was the calmest person ever. He didn't say anything. Just plain hatred and just anger. Every shot that he made hit somebody. This guy was on a mission to just shoot and kill. And that's what he did. Latin said she didn't realize that she had been shot. She was wounded on her arm and her foot. Now she told me that her daughter was not injured physically, but she wants her to see a counselor because her daughter indicated that she saw a woman get shot while she was hiding inside the Walmart with her fellow teammates. Estella. Yeah. So Stephanie, thank you. And that's just, again, we talked about this a lot yesterday, just the, the impact that this is going to have on so many children who are witnesses to all of this and, and the scars and the, the, the emotional pain that they're going to carry for the rest of their lives. Right. Thank you, Stephanie. You can read a full account of Maribel Latin's experience right now on KVI.com.